Recording in progress. Good um, evening, students. We are just having a quick overview of the economics. Let me show you the mind, the cap. And remember, this will be available on YouTube as well as on um, Classmate. And you understand mind the gap now. But if you look at the content page, that is what we're actually interested in. So quick forward, because we know the intro already. Remember our overview of those? It will say to you, great learner, great draft learner, how the study guide works, some questions, and then what will happen on the day of the exam, and then as well as um, study skills. So let's go to chapter one. It will give you the circular for flow model for the national account, your aggregates and your multiplier. And that would be 19 pages. So you can nicely break it up in your study timetable. And chapter two, your business cycles and forecasting from page 23 to 32 gives you starts with key concepts always and it ends with features. Um, chapter three, the role of the public sector and that is uh, page 37 to 48 so now you can plan maybe do your short um, chapters first and then your longer chapters um, chapter four will be foreign exchange market and the balance of payments and uh, but still study and concepts there the reasons for the rationale and that is from 51 to 63 um, we go to chapter five, chapter six and seven. It's about protection and free trade, the dynamics of the perfect markets and the dynamics of the imperfect markets. Um, quite long, eh? Chapter eight, the reasons for consequences and market failures. And chapter nine, economic growth and development. So we go to 10 the SA industrial policies and the suitability for the international best practice and then South Africa's economic social indicators. This is quite important and therefore it's important that you have a good understanding of South Africa's um, economic situation. Chapter 12, inflation. Chapter 13, tourism. And chapter 14, the environmental sustainability. Let's have a look at what the actual chapters will look like. Remember, it's going to show you what your paper will look like. Um, it will start with section A, short questions, section, section B will be a total of 80 marks and so on. Okay, there might be slight deviations, but not too much. And section C will be a 40 mark essay. Um, and it will more or less give you an overview um, of what it will be and how you will have to look at it. Maybe you need to draw a graph, you need to explain certain things, you need to compare, distinguish or interpret, they're giving you keywords, okay? And explains to you how to use the guide, how to study the definitions. Remember the checklist, it helps you with your timetable. And use it. Okay. So, although in your textbook the modules might be and the chapters might be in different places, it will still give you the same overview. It's just more detail. I wanted to show you at the end, you will still get your questions and your answers. Here we go. Um, remember that the mind the gaps papers might be outdated. Okay. So 2014 is too old. So focus on 2018 and 2020, 2021, as well as um, 2019. That gives you almost like an updated version. And it ends with your marking guideline, which would still be important to you. Okay, so that's the overview of economics for you. Have a good evening.